British Columbia has seen a rise in drug poisoning deaths, also known as overdose deaths, with an average of over six preventable deaths per day. The ongoing unregulated drug poisoning emergency is currently the leading cause of unnatural death in BC. These deaths result from a poisoned drug supply, where people might not know what's in their drugs or how potent it is. People use substances for lots of reasons, including enjoyment, coping with stress, and managing pain and health conditions. The most commonly used substances include alcohol, cannabis, caffeine, stimulants such as cocaine and methamphetamine, and opioids such as fentanyl. Many substances can cause drug poisoning, but the highest risk is from unregulated substances that contain opioids. Drug poisoning deaths are preventable. Services exist to prevent drug poisoning deaths and other harms related to substance use. Harm reduction and overdose prevention services are non-judgmental and offer practical tools to prevent overdose, deaths, and other harms. During emergency events like fires and floods, where evacuations may occur, people who use substances are at increased risk of injury, illness, and death due to increased stress and isolation, which may lead to changes in substance use, experiences of stigma and discrimination, service closures or disruptions, drug supply changes caused by emergency, such as more toxic or unfamiliar substances in communities. During emergencies, communities and healthcare workers can take steps to support people who use substances. By providing harm reduction and overdose prevention supplies, outreach and peer-to-peer -peer engagement, and access to safer supply and substance use treatment. During emergencies, Health Emergency Management, HEMBC, can provide service providers with harm reduction and overdose prevention supplies. Communities and service providers can request these supplies by contacting their health authority HEMBC representative or emailing HEMBC Provincial Operations at phsa.ca. Help prepare yourself for emergencies by packing medications, a naloxone kit and harm reduction supplies. If possible, identify harm reduction and drug checking services in the region you are evacuating to. To learn more about harm reduction, overdose prevention, and how to provide non-judgmental care, go to TowardTheHeart.com.